to give you a bit of uh, historical perspective. There was a time in this city in the 30s, uh, the dirty 30s, when the Depression was really uh, at its worst, when uh, groups of people, uh, uh, public servants, uh, business people, uh, politicians, yes, even journalists, would get together in intellectual clubs throughout this city. There were hives of intellectual conversation that would happen. Uh, there were four or five of them, particularly in Rockcliffe, uh, that, that, that happened. And I happen to live in a house in Rockcliffe, a small house in Rockcliffe, <laughs> that, um, that uh, was the hive of one of those intellectual clubs. So what would happen is, you know, people from all over the city would get together and say, oh my goodness, this is terrible. We have to get out of our silos. We have to cross all of these uh, lines. We gotta look for the best ideas. We gotta have a, a vicious and brutal, honest conversation about where things really are, because things are really, really bad. And out of that came brilliance. I mean, oh, in my house, uh, there was a guy by the name of Green who was a defate. And uh, he would hold this intellectual club. And yes, just like tonight, there was lots of good booze before it. <laughs> and, um, and what would happen was, uh, out of that intellectual discussion, uh, in the living room of the house that I now live in, came the foundation for the Regina Manifesto, and unemployment insurance, and CPP. And they would just, and it, the only reason it happened is because this guy Green, who was an investment banker, uh, he got destroyed by the, uh, by the uh, depression. Uh, he ended up uh, building my house. My house is a Depression-era house in a little corner of the land that he used to own. But it so changed his view of things that he went from being an industrialist into being one of the fathers of socialism in Rockland. So when we get together like this, cool things can happen. And, you know, uh, I don't need to tell people in this room, we've been watching bunkers build between our various silos for too long. So I'm really excited about the, the kind of exchange that I hope we could all have uh, tonight and and what's key to it isn't what we what we're striving for here is is not the typical lecture thing okay not the sort of smart people up here uh, you ask questions at the end we want it to be more interactive so if you have a question put up your hand step up to the microphone and let's get it on. <laughs>